We're gonna get there on some shit, it's inevitable. Try our best not to. What are your first impressions of the track? Um, some of the, well the start is monkey. Um, first corner will be slick, and then in some of the pockets, like where they pull the tarp, the water like slid off the tarp, so some of the transitions are a little soft, but um, by the main event, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good track. So. Baby. We got a full muck off pressure washer for this mug works. Some stuff or all of it? Some muck off in there. Nailed it. Oh yeah. They make these handy little bags to carry them. I think uh, coming into Alabama, we got two guys capable of starting up front. And with the different track conditions, I guess you could call it, with the rain that's been a part of the equation on the East Coast and West Coast this year, we've definitely had a rainy season. Uh, it's been nice so far that we've been able to adapt pretty quick. Both the riders, bike setups, uh, strategies, we've been able to do a good job. So I think tonight we're headed in a positive direction uh, because the way that they built the track was relatively one-lined, which favors good starters. And last week at Daytona, we all shot at both heat races. If we do that again, uh, we're in a good spot. And I think tonight's one of those nights, you just gotta put yourself out there to be ready to capitalize on a good opportunity. So what do you think of the track? It's actually not that bad. Really? I mean, I think some spots will definitely get nasty, right? But, um, yeah, everyone's got to ride it and race it, so I thought it would be worse, you know. Like, you can tell they tamed some stuff down just because it was just, I think they're anticipating rain. And I looked at the weather for Saturday, I'm like, dude, it's going to hammer. But then woke up today and checked the weather, and it looks good. So no whoops. No whoops. Completely flattened it out. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just rollers? Uh, just kind of big rollers, yeah. 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 The track will be, uh, there'll be a lot of tight racing tonight, a lot of tight action. But, uh... So if you do miss that three, that would be, that's a good, it's good that you jumped that. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. That ain't bad at all. Three out wasn't bad, huh? No, three out's not bad at all. Like if you make a mistake, you check out and go yeah. three out. It's like there are a lot of positives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey's all together. eliminate free practice and we go straight into qualifying and we really only had two practice sessions to completely dial on the track. For our team that's a bonus because we do adapt quickly with bike changes. This year we've been doing a really good job with tweaking the bike between and uh, hitting our marks. So I think we've done that with Cody today. Uh, second session was quite a bit better and you can see it. Might, it maybe didn't show on times, but his body language riding the bike, you could definitely see it. So shout out to yeah. this rider, the privateer, Muckoff Club of Mex Yamaha, Cody Shock, only four points off the lead. And we're racing for the first time in Birmingham. And a trio of Yamahas, oh no, and tangled up is Deegan and is that the 43 of Hamaker down two. Yeah, that was Hamaker. He hit the ground so hard, and this is a high-speed first corner. This is the longest start straight that we've seen all year long so far. Shock is out front. How about this? Cody Shock looks like he's headed on the final lap to a heat race win. This is a privateer team that you get some help from Yamaha. McAdoo closing, but Cody Shock wins the heat, and that is huge for him and his team. Good job. You did so good. You did so good. I'm so proud. Oh. How'd that feel? 
Not good. It's, it fell. It's sore. It's the energy that you preserved that one wheel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, honestly, it felt that's it, it felt normal. It felt how it should. Yeah. Good. Hard work pays off. I gotta adjust your half of your big head. Okay. Money, dude! Money, dude! I feel like AP right now. Everyone's so happy for me. <laughs> it's cool. It's that was like another check mark off my bucket list. <laughs> that was sick. Yeah, it was awesome. Rip start too. Yeah. Oh, that was good. You did it. That's what happens when you get out front and get away from it. Yeah. yeah. I, and I nailed the the plastic perfect. When we come off and we're how we've been practicing like that, like throw it forward. Oh, as soon as I did that, it was gone. Yeah, that was sick start. Yeah. You ripped. Yeah, held that inside so good. I mean, all that shit was happening and you were not even close to it. Yeah. That was good. Don't get, don't get like an A play start. I had a gnarly battle with Munoz. And then Party? He, yeah, and then he just pulled over for me and I was like, all right, thanks, mate. <laughs> he literally just moved out of the way? Yeah. I couldn't get him. I was trying so hard. So... Is it just the track, like, you can't make passes on the track? It's just or? tough to pass. Like, when you get up on somebody, um, it's hard to get up on them to get, to make it happen, you know? And then now that the track is getting more um, rutted, it was getting nasty. It was getting really nasty. So, do you like the track? Do you dislike the track? Is I this... don't dislike the track. I just, I need to be better out there, Rob. I think uh, my start, I thought I got out pretty good, but... Guy from the outside came in on me, and then um, I wasn't racy. I needed to be like Phil Nicoletti. <laughs> Phil, filthy Phil in the turn, man. Wasn't quite Phil style. Here we go. It's for one, this part's brutal, and, and you signed up for it. I mean, Jeremy's a testament to that. Look at the shit he's been through. It's, it's crazy. Cody broke his collarbone in that first qualifying session, Daytona. And, you know, he overcome it, persevered. We want them thinking about just executing and hitting our marks and let's come out of here with a little bit more momentum than we came in. That doesn't mean we need to go get on the podium or win races. We just need to build, build momentum. Cody's doing it. We got to get, we got to get Jeremy going that direction too, which I think he is. The evolution of club as a team honestly did not make sense to me from the beginning. When they really started to go big, I'm like, who, who is paying for this? How are they able to do this? I'd say about half of the factory teams now are run from private groups. So you can see that future, I think, for club, potentially. But they're also bringing something that I don't think any other team has brought, where they have this facility and what that could do for a brand or a manufacturer or sponsors. No one's really ever married a race team and a race facility and tracks all together. So I kind of feel like that phone call's got to come at some point. They're putting their best foot forward with what they have now. But it would not surprise me at all for us to look back and be like, remember when clubs started 10 years ago and we are what they ready. were then? Welcome to Go Racing! Daxton Bennett, Chance Hymas battling. Oh, Bial, beautiful. But he's not gonna get it. Is that Cody Shocker, Jeremy Martin? Martin. It was Martin and Bial gets by him to take the lead. Jeremy Martin, incredible how tough this guy is. Had a huge crash at our season opener in Detroit, thought his season might be over. Returned for Daytona last week, and he's running second. Oh! 
will not give up. Neither will Martin. Brown fourth. Jeremy Martin with a litany of injuries. Digs deep for fifth. What did he say to you when you guys he were... He was like, dude, you f***ing uh, cut a cross on me. I said I was going to the inside line. Yeah, it was the freaking finish of time. I didn't click fourth and f***ing go straight. I'm just like, dude. Let it go. Let it fuel you. He, he did catch you, Never so let it fine. fuel you. I understand that. I know. I'm just saying the concept. That was just, that was a really good start. Start was bitching, and I tell you what, it's so nice to round the first turn and be the guy and not have to worry about jumping the rhythm lanes next to anybody, especially when they're that soft and ruddy. So that was amazing. I made a couple mistakes um, in the rhythm lane, and I got past both podium spots right there from uh, the PC guys. And I just tried to stay in my lane, um, not override and do something dumb like I've been doing in the past couple years. And then I kind of caught a groove, and then I, I just, um, the line started that I was taking started to uh, get worked in and get kind of gnarly, so I had to change my lines up, and uh, I started to pump up a little bit, and then I was just rode it in for fifth. Yeah, I just <laughs> tried to get it home, so. Did you, did you know Jalik was behind you? Yeah, I knew someone was on my ass, but uh, I didn't know if it was Jalik. I mean, that, uh, that bike is so quiet. It is so quiet, and uh, I, could feel, I could feel the wrath of Swole behind me there so i was happy that it was the last lap <laughs> <laughs> man dude, that was i mean you rode really well yeah like, that was a really good moto yeah i rode a lot better i mean i was a little bit nervous from the heat race because i got waxed in the heat race those guys pulled me and then um it just goes to show you if you get a if you get a good start in the main event you can be up there and obviously i did go backwards a little bit but um i've had a rough uh rough go so we're looking forward to building and i'll take this and yeah for your we, for your third race yeah up we, fifth place hopefully we can get better yeah. Not the way you wanted it. Nah, but you know what? That was a fucking sick day when he was way. It was, dude. That's, like Brandon said, that's something You gotta that, ride the wave, man. That's something that <laughs> yeah. not many people have ever yes. accomplished. Yeah, right. Cody, how you doing? Um, I'm doing as good as I can be right now. <laughs> Surgery was good? Yeah, surgery was, was a success. Um, just got out, headed to PT, and probably do like an hour session to try to get some range of motion back in it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we'll get this thing down. So, uh, how long was surgery? Uh, it was about two hours. Did it plated it and everything went good? Yeah, yeah. Made a smaller incision than normal and plated it and. Yeah, we're, we're on the road to recovery now. Good. Well, you only got to miss Indy, and then we got like three weeks off, so it's all good. Just take your time and get you back healthy. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you in Indy on Friday.